it's going to be another great day of horrible football. Will it be able to catch my voice from here? Probably. Not quite sure. Oh, hit triangle. Are you serious? Pass defense 50. Well, it's already fucking... Pass blocking's at 100. But pass defense is only 50. Listen, it's fucking trash. (laughs) It doesn't matter. Okay. The Boilermakers are taking on the PCU Housecats. And another great day of college football. Yeah, you know, in this day and age, Jake, with social distancing, these people deserve to be pinned up against each other. Mm-hmm. I'm sure, given the events of today, all of the players will soon w- lose their will to live, much as I have, given that I have to watch this. That makes sense, too. It was made by Canadians. Yeah, that's... Yeah. This game, um... The rules of this game clearly show that, like, they're Canadian Wait. because you can hike the ball given, like, the players moving forward. <laughs> so it's a false start every time? No, no, no. In, in, in Canadian football, you can do that. Oh. And for some reason, they've put that, they've overlooked putting that rule into this game. So it's kind of like arena football. Mm-hmm. Little wide receivers yeah. can get a running start. Mm-hmm. Now, it's not like built into this rule set, but they're allowed to do it, and you can do certain motions that allow it to happen. All right, Porn College University is kicking off to the Purdue Boilermakers. Boogity, 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 let's play football. Oh, my God. I bet he makes it to about the 17-yard line. Yep. Oh. Wow. 19. 19-yard line. All right. What? That would be a mess. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah, there's a... We don't have a webcam today. Okay. Good little screen pass. Went for negative one yards. That's pretty good. Apparently they're going to spot it at the line of scrimmage. Oh yeah, forward progress isn't in this game either, which is hilarious. Does it constantly show you what direction the wind is going? Alright, we're lined up in single back. Got one tight end. Wide receiver split out wide. Nice. Looks like we're sending five on the blitz. Nice little corner route. First down, Boilermakers. That's where it shorts. <laughs> Look at them sexy legs. Yeah. All right, offset eye. Looks like they're changing the play at the line of scrimmage. Ooh, oh, quick wow. out. First down, Boilermakers. The animations in this game are perfect. Uh huh. Everything's very good. All right, we got a wing formation. I don't know what we're doing on defense. We're running quarters. And it was a run play. Who could have seen that coming? Well, early on in this drive, the PCU Housecats are just getting lit on fire. Yeah, we need to watch... Can, you know, pull up his socks for an hour before the next play. You look a little shaken up. Ooh, this uh, this formation, everybody's favorite, lining up the tight ends three yards off the line of scrimmage. <laughs> Ooh. That dude got lit up. Now, for anybody confused who may be watching, uh, it it is not that our uh, tight ends are playing. Oh, who was covering that guy? That's interesting. Our tight ends are not playing linebacker. 
It just so happens that they're wearing the same numbers as our tight ends. So if you're confused, so were we. <laughs> All right, we've got five DBs on one side of the field and two on the other. That's good. Watching the is you can. Whoa, whoa. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Oh, I got you a sandwich, bro. It's in the fridge. Yeah, dude. Ooh, Ooh, that was good defense. Linebacker shot the gap. Looks like the house cats are starting to pick it up here. Well, they got a maybe they're running a bend don't break type of. Why? Well, okay, three down linemen and four linebackers in an obvious running situation. Hurdled over nothing and got the first down. <laughs> Maybe he was just trying to hurl the yellow line. Ooh, a little fullback give. Trucks some air. Falls forward for five yards. He seems upset about it. Oh, shucks. Alright. We got a split wing close. Tight end to the left. Or right. I don't fucking care. Ooh, no gain. Nice tackle in the backfield. By a uh, safety? Who knows? Alright. Nobody's covering a... Uh, the that third split wide yeah. receiver, so he should be open. Let's look to go to him on this play. Oh, we're running zone, I guess. Oh, somehow he hung on to that slant. And we're in an obvious running situation, and we only have six men in the box against uh, seven blockers. So, wow. And somehow they didn't block that up. Their fullback seems upset. Okay. All right, we're back to this defense against an eight-man front. Uh, and it once again, hurdles over nothing and just makes it through. What a beautiful sport. Here to try the extra point. Drills it. Mr. Claw Hands himself. <laughs> Good old Claw Hands. The Boilermakers met zero resistance from the PCU defense on that drive. Let's hope that they can shape up a little bit in the coming. Uh, oh fuck! How much left is left in the game? A lot of it. That drive probably took about two minutes. No, took wow. over five. Maybe we won't be here for two hours today. Look at that shadow. Yeah, that's really good. Take the, ready to take this up to about the 17 yard line. Oh, we only get to the 15. That's cool. Pick it up, cats. Not a great start for the drive. All right. Apparently, somebody taught the Boilermakers about effective. Uh, Jesus Christ. Defensive men in the box versus running downs. Uh. Nobody's apparently taught PCU about audible, audibling out of clearly bad plays. Excellent decision <laughs> by the quarterback to check that down. It's an obvious passing situation, so let's see what we do. Oh, we ran the ball. He got fucking knocked out. 
typical start for the PCU offense. Uh, just rot with poor decision making. All right, now let's see what a real offense does. Changing plays, that's something that uh, PCU hasn't really learned how to do yet. Motioning, that's a new one. Motion him back, and uh, he should be open. Look at him, he's got him torched. Holy shit. Yep, that's how, uh, <laughs> that's how you do offense, folks. Must be nice to uh, cheer for a team that knows what the fuck they're doing. Alright, took about another, it took a minute for the uh, Boilermakers to score again. This is not going to be good. Good old claw hand. He's going to be having a fucking sore leg after this. One play, 52 yards, touchdown for the Boilermakers. Now let's see how the PCU house cats can disappoint me. In case you forgot, this game is Canadian. And here's the kick. Expect this to be ran back to about the 15 or 16 yard line. He oh, just stopped. We've decided to, uh, oh yes, of course, with forward progress not being turned on, uh, we made it to about the 13 yard line because juking backwards always works. Here in the I formation against a uh, eight-man box, picked up two. It appears that the tight end forgot what he was doing and d decided not to go block anybody. All right, we got another stacked box and press coverage, so let's look to try and burn him deep. All oh, right, wow. we're changing the play. Ooh, and we got him, folks. Wow. Look at Spaniel. He's Spaniel. off and running. Let's hope this continues. Uh, it's, it's, it, the PCU offense has a pulse. It's either big plays or nothing. Here's a kick, and our claw hands is just as excited with himself. Two plays, 85 yards, touchdown. Huh? Maybe things are turning around for the house cats. Holy shit, this girl on Tinder, thick as hell. Well, let me see. Yeah, that's too thick. Shoot. Stupid thick. Stupid thick, though. Ah, uh, now to kick it off. Claw hands. Look at that hand. Here to bring it back out to about the 17 or 18 yard line. Oh, we got to the 15. Yeah. Good stuff. Well, obvious running down, and we have a very open box. So, well, good thing wow. that handoff was absolute shit, or else that could have been a, a 9 to 10 yard gain. Hmm. 
changing the play here, shifting the running back over. We've got the tight end five yards off the line of scrimmage. So let's see what happens. Ooh, with the wow. sack. Number 57 coming in hot. Oh, he's grabbing his balls. He's got it. Oh, now he's jacking someone off. Come here. Give me those cocks. <laughs> We've got the left guard in the center, basically right on top of each other. Let's hope that doesn't cause any issues. Wouldn't want the other boys to get jealous. Oh, and nice. And we've knocked it up into the air. Fourth down. Wow. Forced to punt after two amazing offensive showings on their first two drives. The Boilermakers have stalled out. Perhaps PCU is learning and adjusting. They're not, but maybe. Here to call for the fair catch. <laughs> Number 18, Did he catch Spaniel. It? Yeah. It looked like it just went through his hands. All right. Here's the run. Fullback give. Ooh, nice truck. This girl's name is Remington. Steel? Like the gun. <laughs> All right, here in the split back formation. <laughs> Dude, I think you'd have more luck on Grinder, I swear to God. I would. I find it just irresponsible to be using Tinder in this day and age during this time. What the fuck else am I supposed to do? Not fuck random girls? You don't know what they've been exposed to. You could catch something. I mean, I could catch it not having sex, too, so I might as well have sex. How the fuck are you going to catch AIDS by not having sex? Let's hope we can burn him deep. We got the running start. Throw it, throw it, throw it, Bob. You fuck. God damn it. Our quarterback sucks. Oh, ship we had a wide open receiver streaking down the sidelines absolutely naked, and we decided to take a sack on third down instead. It is the PCU way. Ooh, nice punt. That was a beautiful So far, the player of the game is the punter for pinning them in the three. Let's see if we can get the buckets. This, ooh. If they know anything, this will be a run. So. We're shifting the play over. Looks like a run to the left. Nope, they're passing. And he missed it, which is interesting. Oof, these lighting textures are excellent. Get Just, the sack! Just safety! Just, safety! Yes. We scored points! Ooh, look at that, boys. House cats are purring right now. Just because our offense sucks doesn't mean the whole team has to, and the defense is stepping up when we needed them. Well, this is wrong. It appears that these Canadians don't understand that safeties lead to punts. That's fine, I guess. When was this game released? Last year. Jesus. Wow, this is the best return I've ever seen in this game. 23 yard line. We're only down by five, so let's see how the PCU offense can fuck it up. Well, we completed a pass, quick out into double coverage, but it works. I really love our center's name. Legally. I really love our right guard's number. What is it? Horrible decision to throw a screen to a just blanketed receiver. Lucky that one wasn't an interception. Our quarterback is trash. Oh, 69. Mm-hmm. Good stuff. Appears we're going to run it. Nope. 
we're checking out of that and we're going to probably do a pass play that isn't going to make a lot of sense. Uh, we got the call. motion. Go, 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 All go, right, go. we got we got the running start. He is naked and uh What the fuck? Bomb decided that uh he would take it himself for 2 yards on 3rd and 6. Once again, the decision making process there isn't one. Ooh, Jesus just Christ. got tossed. Oh my god. Well, we can't capitalize on the uh, momentum swing quite the way that we would have wanted to. Alright, we're back in a running formation and we're in quarters defense once again. Oh, their quarterback's run. taking a run. He got seven. Sure wish our quarterback could get that. How about, what do you say, Ryan? Yeah, yeah, I wish he could get that. Uh-huh. Check that. I wish he could get that twice. Oh, shit. Oh, we're pinching, pinching. the defensive line. All right. Good Ooh, ball. screaming ball. in. Number 88, player of the game. Our best linebacker. Really snaking through those offensive linemen to make the tackle in the backfield. And he got it. Didn't, ooh, ooh. ooh. Thanks okay. to the lack of forward progress in this game, that is not a first down. It appears that the Boilermakers are going to be punting. Fourth and one. Up by five. Almost to the end of the first quarter. Calling for the fair catch is our guy. Oh, we didn't. Instead, he'll decide to get destroyed after a gain of three. Spaniel, the only uh, offensive PCU player to score a touchdown this game. One big play. That's all we need. We're in a full house formation against a stacked box. Let's see what we do. Just an incredible <laughs> lack of vision by Bomb once again. Toss that into double coverage. If you're just joining us, uh, the PCU quarterback is an incredible piece of garbage. If the coach could figure out how to cut players, he'd be cut. But no. we can't figure it out. All right, third and nine. Let's oh run that God. ball, baby! Fuck yeah! All right, loss of one on third and nine. Let's punt this ball back. We don't fucking want it. Calling for the fair catch at the 40. I believe that the Boilermaker's offensive strategy is just to allow PCU to fuck up so poorly that eventually they'll just punt themselves into our territory. Nice spin move by Wybanga, the Boilermaker's running back, okay. to fall forward for four yards on first down. Um, an incredible, uh, once again, the quarterbacking display that we're seeing today could bring a tear to your eye. Because it's garbage. And they were wide out, not covered. All right. We've shifted the line over. Uh, got the running back streaking open. All day to throw. And he missed him. Fourth and six, punt team should be coming out. We're going to be pinned roughly within our ten. Uh, we'll go about no yards, and then we'll punt the ball back, and they'll get it on about the 50. It's like a tennis match. I think Purdue's strategy uh, is working to a T. Oh, 
All right, let's hope to get something going offensively. I don't have a lot of hope. Our one wide receiver split out left was covered by two corners. And we get a gain of three on a first down run. Oh, he's got a wide open left? Yep. yep. All right, tight ends wide open. First down. I haven't been keeping track, but I do think that that is only a, one of only a handful of first downs that PCU has achieved in this game. Effectively moving the ball. Oh, it appears that they've decided that the Boilermakers have decided to drop 11 into coverage on that play, and Baum decided that he still needed to throw it as soon as possible. Even though there was no pressure coming, could have possibly waited for a wide receiver to get more open, uh, decided to force that Slant. one into a real yes. tight window. Uh, nice little running back screen on second down, gains about five. That's a nice play. Is he hurt or cocking off? I think he's just stretching. All right, at the end of the first quarter... It is uh, five first downs to one. So, yes, that last first down that we saw was the first first down for this PCU offense. Pitiful, pitiful display. So it's third down. Better run the ball. Except this time we actually Holy gained shit. the yardage that we needed, which is incredible. Before number 26 is absolutely demolished. After prematurely trying to truck a defender who was still six yards away from him. He'll be playing the rest of the game in a wheelchair. He's legally disabled. Ooh, oh. a nice oh, open corner. A nice open corner route, and uh, our receiver drops it. So Bomb makes the first good decision today, and our receivers can't hold on to the ball. They just don't expect a good throw. All right, quite the delay in uh, in the uh, blitz as uh, the Boilermakers send six on the rush. However, two of them were coming from about 12 yards deep. All right, our running back following his blocks, picking up four on first down. Good run. All of our, our running backs always seem to have something to say after their four-yard runs. Man, I'm sober enough. I need another drink. All right, we got a little motion hike from the tight end, who is now wide open, streaking up the field. Man, this is an offensive display for the ages out of PCU. I can't... Once again, I can't tell if he's hurt or dancing. Perhaps a little of both. I don't know where our tight end was just running out from. Got a little motion hike. And we've decided to do a quarterback keeper, run for five. At least the down and distance finally made sense for us to do that for once. As opposed to us usually doing it on third and ten. And going for about two yards. Ooh, the blitz is coming. Ooh, he escapes the pressure. Wow. Manages to pick up three yards. Third and short. As long as we don't throw an interception here, we'll come away with points and cut down that Purdue lead. Ooh, get another first down and bring it up to the four. The hits out here are just brutal, Jake. Just brutal. Nobody ever seems to mind. Changing the play here. Ooh, to a slant and double coverage. I don't know what Baum saw in the defense that led him to believe that would be open, but it wasn't, and he's bad. All right, we're going back to the full house. Who will we hand it to? 
No one. That's interesting. Left, left, Run, left. The running oh. back was wide open. Baum decided to hold on to it for, you know, heaven knows why, seeing as how he has no qualms against throwing it into triple coverage when he's not pressured. All right, number 18 is wide open. Yep, hit him. And we were a little late on that pass, but it was the right choice. So it's fourth and goal. It appears that the uh, field goal team will be coming out, cut this lead down to two. Mm -hmm. The big D on the side. Everybody likes a big D on the side. Talking about the big D symbolizing what a bunch of dickheads all of these players are. And how dedicated they are to being awful. But the summary of a drive, pretty goddamn good for this PCU offense. Consistently moving the ball, getting bogged down in the red zone, missing a wide open running back coming out of the backfield, and instead taking a sack on second down. But what do you expect out of one of the worst college quarterbacks I've ever seen? Here to kick, good old lobster hands. <laughs> Here to bring it out to about the 17 is Measy. Ooh, the 21. All right, we're going back to my favorite position. Doggy style. Quarterback run right up the middle and picks up about four yards. No, it's my understanding that um, all players need to be stopped before the uh, ball is hiked, correct? Uh, yes. In actuality, the rules are that a player must be set after moving forward. Uh, wide open, just unbelievably naked. Oh, for some reason decided to backwards juke directly into a tackle, but just two receivers completely naked over on the left side of the field. That's a lot of people in the box. There we go. But yes, uh, in col ooh, a pitch play. In college football, you have to be set after moving towards the line of scrimmage for at least a second before the play can be hiked. Mm -hmm. If you're moving laterally, the That's play can be started at any time. Oh, All yeah, right, I... they've decided to, he hung on to that ball way too fucking long, let the pressure come right up the middle. That pressure coming from about 15 yards deep. For the rest of this game, we'll be calling everything in, instead of yards, inches. So, it is now fourth and 11 inches. <laughs> Punting from the PCU 42. All right, looks like we're at about to get a touchback. This will be taken out to the 20-yard line. 25-yard line. Okay, at least they got that one right. That's interesting. Appears we're going to be running against the sack box. Uh, apparently nobody has ever told... Either of these offenses, really, that the fullbacks can also be used to block for the running back. But uh, here at the PCU-Purdue game, it is 1946, and fullbacks are still being used as running backs. All right, third down and eight. We haven't done Dick this whole fucking drive. So let's see how we can fuck it up. Here's Bomb. Here's Bomb fucking it up. Deciding to run on third and eight for a gain of three. As is Bomb's favorite thing to do. I believe that he is a saboteur. 
sent by competing schools to purposely try and fuck our shit up. Well, he's doing a great job there, Jake. Well, he's really not, because I, we're still 2-0 and in this season. In spite of ourselves, we are undefeated. Shifting the play here, we're pinching the defensive line. I assume it'll be a pass play. <laughs> All right. Uh, Ooh. Excellent Ooh. defense on our end. Uh, the wide, the Purdue wide receivers ran into each other on that motion hike. Seems like the PCU house cats uh, pass defense just likes to swat it down instead of attempting to catch it. Uh, that this is a this is rampant throughout the entire league. Uh, that oh, oh, that was disgusting. Just underthrew a wide open post route by twenty yards. Uh, but yes, the whole the whole college football league has apparently decided that interceptions are overrated. All right, a quarter, a direct, uh, direct snap to the quarterback. Oh. Ran for three yards on fourth and uh, fourth, or on third and ten, and uh, it appears they're taking new playbook. I believe you mean Paige, Jake. Shut the fuck up, Ryan. <laughs> Ooh, calling for a fair catch, even though nobody's within fifteen yards of him. Spano. Why? Why even try to get an extra few yards to help out this anemic offense? That's what I say. We're good enough. Changing the play, pinching the line. I bet it's a pass. It appears to be the exact same play that... Oh, Jesus. Oop. Oh. Wow. He was pretty covered, but luckily he managed to go up and over the defender and make that catch. Yeah, that was, that was a lofty throw. Eyes are not deceiving me. There are currently two number 89 tight ends on the field. Uh, that was a horrible handoff. Took about two seconds in the backfield, and in the meantime, the D-end comes around unblocked. Oh, 68 and 88. Nope, there are two 89s on the right side of the formation, both tight ends. Oh, Jesus. We are really doing something here. Got the motion hike. We've decided to run the exact same play that the Boilermakers ran in their last series. That also didn't work, and we made the same bad decision. Our wide receivers also ran into each other. We've got an uncovered uh, Spaniel in that third slot. Wide open, makes the catch. However, a check down on fourth and 16 that goes for eight yards isn't really enough to, you know, help. So <laughs> here we are to punt again. Boy, it sure seems like a fever dream that first quarter that just seemed to fly by with like real offensive strategy and skill this second quarter has only had seven minutes elapse and it's felt like an eternity i've been watching this piss poor excuse for a football game for 40 minutes now Anybody else thinking about killing themselves? Put it in the comments down below. <laughs> Alright, nice little throw to the flat. Picking up two yards on second and five. Brings up a third and three. Let's see what the Boilermakers can do. Or if this clinic on punting can continue. I feel like the kickers and punters are going to have a lot of play time this game. Oh, lobster hands. Okay. Excellent tackling. Dude, his face just... 
pelted into the ground. Excellent tackling. A perfectly covered receiver manages to pick up five yards on third and three. Thanks to uh, yes! ooh, an interception, a rare interception by the PCU defense instead of just whacking the ball to the ground. All right, the House Cats take over at their own 29. Let's see if we can get points out of that turnover. Bomb hands it off. We gain one on the delayed handoff that takes way too fucking long to happen. At least running the ball drains the clock, and maybe this nightmare will end. <laughs> All right. We got him wide. Yep. Yep. We got. Yep, ooh, yep, yep. and an ooh. What the a good block from the wide receiver. Unfortunately, our tight end decided that he needed to truck uh, the open air. All right. First and goal at the five yard line. Gets knocked down at the line of scrimmage. It was a good pass to an open receiver. Unfortunately, our short-ass, bitch-ass quarterback can't throw it over the line. Small-ass, bitch-ass. Tight end lined up five yards behind the line of scrimmage. That's fucking crazy. Shifts over to three yards. That was a good call. Ooh! Wow. Somehow we managed to make that catch. Somehow it was a touchdown. Why We're are doing the it. Lines going, like, the line refs going That's just crazy. Oh, we've, uh, because of coronavirus, we've issued social distancing in place. So now we have uh, mannequins being the line judges. I think that's a very responsible decision. Also, as you can see, nobody in the crowd is actually moving. That's because they're all cardboard cutouts. Man, this game was like the lobster, time. rock lobster. All right, the house cats take the lead, nineteen to fourteen after the turnover. This game is Canadian. <laughs> I don't know what the Twitch symbol looks like. Fair enough. Come on, lobster. Alright, nice kick. Should be taken out to about the 17 yard line. <laughs> what the fuck? The 16 yard line, as a matter of fact. <laughs> Oh yeah, after uh, after watching the game last week, you you learn pretty quickly that the computer can't. Okay, there's one wide receiver completely uncovered. Yep. Uh, the computer just can't fucking... Yep, that's exactly so. PCU takes the lead for all of four seconds. How'd it feel, boys? Do you feel like winners? All right, the Boilermakers score a touchdown on a completely busted coverage from the get-go. Just an uncovered receiver running a fade streak. Wide open. Safety doesn't roll over to cover him. And uh, turns into an 84-yard touchdown. Jesus Christ. This is an embarrassing display of defense. You'd like to think that uh, the Boilermakers would make the same mistake, and they would, but our quarterback would not throw the ball. Instead, he'd consider running it on third and seven for about two yards, because it's his favorite. It makes him happy. All right, good kick. Should be taken out to about the 17-yard line. Oh, no. Our guy decided to run even further back than usual. We get to about the 13. Is his name Kush? Who can? Yes. He's smoking that dank Kush. 
like top shelf. That's that why he crumb. ran backwards. Pinching the line. Let's see if we hand this to a fullback if we can. Oh, we don't even have a fullback nope. on the field. The lighting textures are rough. All right, Bomb somehow manages to not get tackled in the backfield and again runs for about four yards. Luckily, this is first down and not third down. What the fuck? It's, uh, as you can see, the Boilermakers have decided to cover all of our receivers. Unfortunately, they can't stay covered. Make a completion to the tight end and Sorry. pick up the first down. Oh, that was a quick That hike. was a, uh, yes. Apparently we saw something we liked in the defensive front and we took advantage of it. A run for about 15 yards. By Carrero. Legally to snap. All right. Kusnick takes the ball for two yards. On first down. All right, this is a stacked box. So if we are not throwing a, uh, okay, we are motion hiking. Yes, 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 yes. Let's yes, see yes, if yes, our yes, wide yes. receivers get all fucked up on each other. They what do. The they do get all fucked up on each other. And instead of throwing the fade down the sideline that would get open, we decide to throw that little bubble screen that doesn't fucking work. Careful, Savior 35. Thank you, Russian man. You're the man. All right, yes, a handoff on third and eight that goes for one yard. This is exactly what we wanted. All right, PCU to punt. This is, that's the same guy who commented on the last one, and he also commented something strange. Well, we have a returning uh, watcher, so we'll I call him a subscriber. Can't fucking understand it, but it's happening. Oh! Luckily, he gets the pass off, or else that would have really pinned him back there. Leave it where it lies, right? Second and ten. Another stack box. All right, a full house. We're really favoring one side. All right. Wide there, Ooh, yellow. wide open. Luckily, we get the tackle before he gets the first down. Brings up a third and one. Let's hope that PCU... All right, PCU has taken their first time out. Trying to conserve some clock. Perhaps get the ball back with enough time to drive down the field. However, they won't. They won't drive down the field. We get the sack, though. 88 Archibald really showing what this defense is made out of. Calling another timeout to make sure the clock stops with enough time to be able to punt it back to Purdue before the two-minute warning. Wait, to PCU. Nope. I'm saying that that's what PCU's plan is. They oh. want to conserve enough clock that they can punt the ball back to Purdue before the two-minute warning. Gotcha. Oh, yeah, wait a minute. I'm sorry. Two-minute warnings aren't in this game. I forgot about that. Do they have those in the actual college? Yes. But once again, this game is Canadian. Mm -hmm. Everything's askew. Alright, looks like a blitz coming. Yep, we we decided oh. to do a little dump off pass for no gain. I assume we'll burn our last time out here. Absolutely. Why would we hang on to those? Luckily, we have no more left, so we couldn't even possibly try and cons Ooh, a wide open wide receiver down the oh sideline. Like Spaniel oh my God. Oh my God. for the Spaniel. second time today on a big old, old streak. He jerks off the heavens. Touchdown, PCU. That is 25 inches for the Porn College University House Cats. Here to make it 26 inches. Brock Lobster. 
Rock lobster. And it's good. Look at that lobster. Quit jerking your meat, boy. You've got carpal tunnel. <laughs> I believe the term is called a uh, tincture, where the muscles cannot uh, expand when you're in a motion for so long, they get formed to that. Here at PCU, stretch your hands. Mm -hmm. Stretching is a thing. That's a reminder to uh, check out the website, porncollege.university.university. Is that really what it is? Yeah, unfortunately. What happened? Oh, wait a minute. I'm sorry. It's a, actually it's porncollege.porncollege.university. What happened? I can't say for sure. Uh, the website will be switching over to something that makes more fucking sense in about, I don't know, 40 days? When did we buy that domain? Uh, April 19? No. Yeah, April 19. Oh, another, oh, luckily we dropped this one, uh, otherwise that would have gone for another one play, 80 fucking something yard touchdown. But yes, we will, uh, once we can move the domain name over to a, uh, web builder that I'm comfortable using, we can, uh, oh, excellent defense! God damn it. Instead of uh, just covering the receiver and maybe knocking the ball down, maybe limiting them to a one or two yard game, we decided to try and go for an interception, even though the ball's way the fuck over your head. Pitch play, and he squeezes through all of those defenders. And the Boilermakers uh, call their first time out. Yeah, no, no. Really? April 19th? It no, was it only... was April 20th, or 12th. April 12th, okay. Yeah, so, uh, at some point here, in the next, like, month or so. Oh, good. Pass interference, even though our guy wasn't even close to him. He was wide open on that play. Better call that pass interference penalty. That makes perfect fucking sense. We've got a wide open yep. guy. I don't know. He's covered, but way back. All right. Purdue's going to burn their second time out here. Giving them about a minute and ten seconds left to fuck us. Here to remind you that the refs are here for one goddamn specific reason, and that's to fuck us. Alright, Purdue's going to burn their last time out with a minute left, and we're going to see what they can do. You might, you might have wanted to save that time out for maybe when you were in field goal range so you could stop the clock if you needed to, uh, to kick the field goal, but Purdue has decided, fuck it. This'll do. Interception, come on. Yep. So uh, much so time. Much. So much time. All right. Thanks to the lack of forward progress, it is now fourth and one. Clock is rolling. Let's see what the Boilermakers are going to do. It looks like they're going to punt from the 38-yard line. Cowards. We're going to let this one bounce out of the end zone. And with about 40 seconds left on the clock... Oh, 32 seconds left on the clock. PCU will get the ball back at their 25. And give it right back. Let's uh, let's hope that they run it here and just bring it into halftime with the lead. Oh, wow. Yes. It appears that we are just going to run this clock down and attempt to go to halftime with a five-point lead. On the PCU 27. Oh, well, looks like we might throw a pass here because... Why wouldn't we fuck something up? No, they're going to run it out. They're going to run out the clock. That's a good decision right All there. All right, there we go. That's the first good decision I've seen PCU make. All right, nine, nine first downs apiece. Wow. We've got 268 yards to 289 yards. At the end so, of the first quarter, I believe uh, PCU only had one first down. They've really turned it on in the second quarter. 
let's hope that we can continue that going into the second half where we will receive the kick. Good old lobster, let's go. Rock lobster kicking off. Oh, that's a good kick. Should get it out to about the 17 yard line. Ooh, Ooh the 20. Wow. We didn't go backwards at all that time. He's even it happy. appears that Cush has learned his lesson, at least until next time. In the shadows, first and ten. A reminder that today's broadcast is brought to you by CTE, making all of our players big old tards. I don't know if that's PC, but... You're right, it's PCU. That's right. Cold Dolphin 40. Another weird man typing in Cyrillic, commenting. Hey, I drink vodka. Do you drink vodka? All right, a quarterback keeper. Second and ten goes for about three yards. Bomb gets fucking destroyed. Hopefully he could be killed. And we could all be spared from having to watch him play quarterback. All right, let's watch this delayed handoff go for six yards. Yep. We're motioning over. He's still covered. He's still covered. Again, that delayed handoff. Oh, my God. Only went for one yard, but we all saw it coming, including that linebacker. And now we're back to punting the ball. Our natural environment. Calling for the fair catch. I like how their hands don't ever close. They just clap. Like it's like a clapping thing. It's because of the CTE. They've lost all nuanced motor function. Oh, we missed the sack and we give up a touchdown. A touchdown. Excellent, excellent defense. Everything coming easy to the Boilermakers. Let's see if they can get the PAT. They will. Oh, they're going for two. Oh, going for two to attempt to make it a field goal game. They God get it. Damn it. Why wouldn't they? That's about how this game has been going. All right, with a three-point lead, yes, the ball did bounce back and hit him in the face. No, it didn't bounce at all. It literally bounced like an inch off the ground and rolled uh, after him spiking it. Well, a ball coming back and hitting a man in the face or impotently rolling away are both very good analogies for the PCU offense and defense, but mostly the offense. Hold my dick. Oh, that's a good kick. Should be able to bring it out to about the 17-yard line. Jesus Christ. Taking it out to the 17-yard line. <laughs> it's the Chronic. 2001. All right, here to run a shitty delayed handoff to number 26. It's bomb under center. Goes for one yard. When you watch this trash long enough, you start to pick up on the garbage plays. All right, looks like we're spreading them out here. Oh, top left, top left. And we've decided, all right, first down. Well, I'll take a first down. Uh, Bomb can't effectively throw a deep ball, so... We're trying to teach him at PCU to throw a deep ball, but... Throwing his balls deep has never been something that he's done because he has a very small penis. Bomb, our limp-dicked quarterback. Selha so with the catch, with the ca uh, gain of two. Changing up the play, perhaps not running. 
into this stacked box. Oh, it looks like we're going to be running a screen pass with the fucked up wide receivers. Nope, nope, they're both running slow. Ooh, Ooh, damn. I didn't even see our receiver there running that seam route. I thought that that was an interception. Just really highlighting the fact that that was throated triple coverage. All right, quite the lame duck of a pass. Catch for a uh, loss of one. Yep. Why not throw more covered screen passes? Because they've all worked so well. You better throw All right, we're doing an offset eye here. There we go. There we go. Audibling. We've got a one-on-one -on -one matchup with press coverage yep, and we're yep, motion right, hiking. Yep, yep. Go, 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 so go. he should be naked. Throw the ball! Yes. Yes. All right, let's watch our guy uh, truck and get tackled. Nope. He wow. decides to keep running and we get the touchdown. No truck That's saving. our Weimer. That's our big old Weimer. Our 15-inch Weimer. 15-inch Weimer. All right, House Cats take the lead back with 11 minutes to go in the third quarter. This is neck and neck, just like every game, because oh, when shit, you we're can't... Going for two. All right, we're going for two to try and make it a five-point lead. Oh, come on, you dumb bitch. Conversion, no good. So we will maintain a three-point lead. We could have just kicked a field goal and gone up by more than a field goal. Or we could have kicked the PAT and gone up by more than a field goal. But why the fuck would we do that? Because five points is so much nicer than going up by four. We're just trying to follow suit with what the other team does. They go for two, we go for two. Fuck them. They run a shitty pass that doesn't work. We'll run the shitty pass that doesn't work. And we're going to keep running it the rest of the game. We're going to keep running that shitty delayed uh, handoff that goes for one yard. Come hell or high water. The bread and butter of this offense is a running play that goes for one yard. That's a good kick. Should be brought out to about the 13. The Damn. 11. Oh. Thank you oh. to uh, the lack of forward progress. 11 yard line. He caught it. We'll remind you, he caught it on the five. Six yards on that return. All right. Stop him. The running back wiggles around, gets a little loose, and is plowed into after a gain of three inches. Right. All day to throw, knocked down at the line. Brings up third and seven inches. Why is that so fucking funny? <laughs> All right, they ran the shitty delayed handoff on third down. Went for about three yards, brings up fourth. Let's get that punting out. For all you uh, kids out there watching who want to become punters one day, this is the game to be watching. You'll, you'll be used every single turn. Come to PCU. We promise that you will punt at least ten times a game. He didn't even catch it. Like the, the animation. <laughs> it's so bad. Uh, also, we would like to uh, thank Maximum Football 2019 for bringing you this coverage. If you were ever thinking about buying this game, Do fucking don't. This game is trash. Its only redeeming quality is the customization. And even then, that's really not good enough. I suppose maybe if you sim through the games. All right, they're dropping 11 into coverage. Oh, 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 nice. And we still complete the pass, even though there was 11 men in coverage. BCU really driving here. Let's see if we can get into field goal range and at least sure up that we will be able to go up by six points. Bomb takes the keeper, slides down for a gain of four on first down. That is the fifth time we have called that play. Right, shifting the running back over. 
tight ends both lined up five yards yep, off the line go. of scrimmage. We We've, oh, uh, we decided to throw a right. little curl route that was covered by two, three to four people. Was it? Uh, within five yards, yeah. Yeah. All right, same formation. Worked so well last time. Let's see if we can run it here for about two. Oh. Bomb pumps. Ooh, oh. gets a receiver oh, streaking. Brings us down to the five. Let's go, boys. We've been incapable of scoring in the red zone all day, though. Let's see if we can turn the tides. Let's hope that we can score a touchdown. Oh. Bomb decides to take a sack. From in the pop. fucking face. Number 50, Pop. I'd hop on Pop, if you know what I'm saying. I'd hop on Step Pop. All right, now it is third and... Or Two it is receivers. second and goal from the 10. Yes. Oh, and we finally do it. Spaniel with his... Who fucking knows? Third or fourth touchdown of the day. No. He's all of our offense. Our whole hopes and dreams ride on the shoulders of a dog. He's what makes our offense look spick and spaniel. Mm-hmm. Legally Man. converts. Mr. Lobster Hands. Oh, wait. Legally was the center. Legally, I have to tell you I'm a registered sex offender. <laughs> He's not. That was a joke. For the record. Nope, no jokes here. I fuck children. What the fuck? <laughs> this game is Canadian. Oh, that's right. It's fine over there. We are an hour and six minutes into this broadcast. No one will ever hear this. I can say anything. Wait, it doesn't save? Oh, no, it does. But no one will ever watch an hour and six minutes of this garbage. I mean, your commentary is really good. Once again, the 17. Oh, brought it out to the 17-yard line. That's a good return. Looking like a pretty full box there. All no right, we've no got, wideouts. We've got a 10-point lead. I assume that that means that Purdue will score points on this drive. Oh, Getting shit. the first down there. I mean, the the screen doesn't even widen out enough to see if there's wide receivers or not. Who fucking knows? Who cares, either? All right, stacked box. They should be throwing a fade round. Oh, they've decided. Ooh, he is just wide open on that little flat. You know, it's clear we were playing main coverage there. We decided, fuck it. All right, we got number 15 naked in the, in the, in the slot. Yeah, the left slot. All right, we got a man streaking wide open down the field, and Ooh. he missed him. What a complete piece of shit. I'll give, you know, I have nothing nice to say about Bomb ever, but he doesn't tend to just miss wide open receivers. Alright. Little, little dump off pass on second long. Makes it a, a manageable third and short. The... 50-yard line. All right, obvious running situation, and we are playing quarters! This defense... Uh, oh. What oh. The they didn't... Wow. They didn't run the ball. Wow. And that brings up fourth down. PCU out here playing 4D chess with my heart. <laughs> Don't fair. Oh, God. They always will. On the 17, about... God damn. From oh, the 13-yard 13 wow. 13. line, we'll be starting this next drive. Hopefully, we run the ball and just try and drain as much clock as we can, but we won't. We, that's what we do here at PCU. We try to drain as much clock as we can. 
There's about 6 minutes and 28 seconds left on the cock. And we're motion hiking this one. He should be open because he has a running start. He's wide open. Throw the ball, Bomb. Okay, we'll throw it to a different guy. He gets the block. Oh, we wait. truck air. And no, he trucked him. He did. I think that that was more the receiver coming back and blocking him in the back, which luckily isn't a penalty in this game. Canada. Oh, Canada. Do anything you want on the field. All right, Bomb takes the ball. Oh! oh my God. What? The most impressive thing I've ever seen our limp dick suck ass quarterback ever do. A run for 14 yards on first down. And his number's 14 there, Greg? My name started as Jake and it's become Greg it because I'm Greg. so disappointed. That's going to leave him wide. He's going to run back. All right, yep. he's running back. He should be wide open on this. Run yep, he throw. is. Throw the ball. Nope. Bomb decides to check down for a loss of two yards when he had a receiver streaking wide open down the field. Bomb follows up the most impressive thing I've ever seen him do, do with one of the least impressive things I've seen him do, which isn't weird. Almost throws an interception there on second down. To be expected. He's really trying to make up for all of the good things he's been doing recently. <laughs> What a fucking bitch. God damn it. Nobody's covering the... Tight ends open, tight ends open, yeah, tight ends the, open. Okay. Wow. Oh, we caught it. Wow. My 15-inch Weimer sure came down with that one. Five minutes left on the cock. First and ten inches. There we go. It's good. Ooh, oh. Our wide receiver chose not to turn around and uh, locate the ball. Not going to put that on Bomb's shoulders. His weak, feminine shoulders. <laughs> what an insult. <laughs> oh, okay. shit. Okay. Oh, hey! Spaniel with his fourth or fifth touchdown today. We don't know. Really, the hero we needed. And it's funny, was how much defense has been a part of this game. It's still a really high-scoring game. I'm sorry, defense? Oh, you mean how sometimes players get tackled? Yeah. You know, it's just because there's so many shitty passes that it just the, it makes the game last forever. Speaking of which, we are one hour and 13 minutes into this broadcast with about four minutes left in the third quarter. Oh, God damn it. We still have a whole nother quarter of this bullshit after this. But PCU leads 46 inches to 29 inches. Let's go. Here to kick off. Brock Lobster. All right, good kick. Should be brought out to about the 17-yard line. Fuck off, dude. 16 yards. <laughs> Spaniel in to make the tackle. Scoring touchdowns, making tackles, laying pipe. That's what Spaniel do. That's what Spaniel do. Wide open out there? Mm hmm. Two wide open outs. Uh, right. Well, we got a, a offsides penalty on number 60. Probably not the worst thing that could have happened, seeing as how there was a completely uncovered wide receiver. I'll happily give up five yards instead of another fucking 84 yard touchdown. That being said, we give up a 20-yard completion. <laughs> Did you see that? I thought he was going to do like the hobo thing. The spin on the ground. 
All right, shift to your play. Lined up off sides. Number, okay, he jumps back. All right, the quarterback runs, slides down, gain a two. Or four, I'm sorry. Watch that tight end. Quarterback number seven for Purdue. They hand the ball off. Nice. Number seven, wearing the same number as John Elway, because he says, quote, we both sell used cars. Wide open out on the left. <laughs> this is going to go for a lot. Oh, nope, they've decided to run the ball. They've done that three plays in a row, haven't they? They're bad. Luckily, all this means is that the game will mercifully end sooner than it would have. Here to punt the ball, Brock Lobster. All right, it appears we're going to let that one bounce out of the end zone, take it up to the 25. Brought to you by Canada. This game's Canadian. Delayed handoff to the other side this time. Game Went two. for two yards. A 100% improvement over going the other direction, which usually nets us one. One deep safety. Hit left. Had a wide open receiver. Oh, dang. Apparently we had two wide open receivers on these corner routes. Really can't... The, the Boilermaker defense really can't seem to cover these corner routes from the PCU wide receivers. Going five wide, empty backfield. Bomb throws it into double coverage. Oh, what the? That's frustrating. All right, let's see what we can do on second and ten. I'm taking it empty from the gun again. All the time in the world. Can't fucking get it out. Can't get his limp dick noodle arm to throw the ball slightly higher over the defensive line. Third and ten, let's expect Bomb to uh, keep this and run for about two yards. Ooh. Shifting the running back over. Tight end lined up five yards behind the line. Wide, wide, wide. Yes. Oh, my. There were two options on the left side of the field. He could have thrown it to. He decided to throw it to the one who was covered and not the one who was open. Brings up fourth and ten. We're going to punt. That whole possession managed to drain about a minute off the clock. Thus undoing all of the great work that the Boilermakers... Oh! Okay. Okay. Boilermakers, uh... With a great punt from Brock Lobster, pinning them down at the six-yard line. Boilermakers take over. Coming out in the full house... I mean, what a punt for him. What a My punt. favorite character is Michelle. <laughs> You got it, dude. Not because of the Michelle you thought. No. My favorite was Uncle Jesse. I was really wanted Uncle Jesse. Alright. With the Holy dumbest shit. looking sack I've ever seen, number 60 shoots through... And gets the quarterback sacked. Dude, bringing can you it. instant replay? Because that was a stupid ass hit. Uh, Let's see if we can instant replay that. I mean, maybe. Uh, no. You can't. Why would you be able to? It's Canadian. Uh, alright. It appears there was a false start. I don't know what the fuck procedure means. But it's a loss of three yards, backing them up to their own three, third and 13. They're going to run the ball, and oh it's another God. safety. That's two in a game, dude. What P the fuck? PCU has really turned it on in this second half. 
I'm turned on. Ryan's turned on. Your I've turn got on. 48 inches. And I'm busting nuts. Left and right. Here to incorrectly kick the ball off. Brock Lobster. PCU leads 48 to 29. Oh, that's a good kick. Should be brought out to about the 13 yard line. Oh, nope, I forgot. The oh, coverage wow. the coverage on these uh on these kickoffs tends to be worse. So the 18. Smoking that kush. It's good. 420 blaze it. Somehow we are still in the third quarter. Uh, oh, oh, come on, yo. Luckily, we didn't hang on to any momentum at all because Bomb sucks cock. Big old cocks. Big. He's garbage. He's bad. I hate him. If I knew how to cut him, he would no longer be on this team. Luckily, the defense is dropping him back for a loss of one. Oh, two. My bad. All right. Let's see if we can hold them to a field goal here and possibly walk out of here with the W. It's got a, There's a long fourth quarter to go. Oh, fuck but yeah. third and 13 after two negative runs. They're going to run. Just wanna just just really need to hold them to a fucking okay. To a field goal here. And we've brought it down to the fourth quarter. Mercifully there is only one more quarter of this fucking bullshit to go. PCU House Cats on top, forty eight to twenty nine. Looking at a field goal for Purdue. Trying to bring this to a sixteen point lead. For the PCU House Cats. So if they can hold on to it. After the just fucking abysmal quarterbacking from Bomb. I wouldn't back that quarterback. Not for a second. All the momentum in the world. This game is Canadian. <laughs> All the momentum in the world. And Bomb decides we don't need it. He wants it to be challenging. Developmentally challenged as a child, Bomb has never wanted anything to be easy. He's also never wanted anything to be too loud. <laughs> Here to take it out to about the 20 yard line. Let's go. We're smoking that purple cooch. When I was in Amsterdam, I actually had a really good uh, quiche. Real Amsterdam has the best quiche. I don't really like eggs, but quiche is good. I like quiche. This formation's trash. Oh, he's wide, wide he's open. Wide. Oh, oh unfortunately, God, we decided to th check it down for a two-yard screen pass. Worth it. At a streaking wide receiver, he was taking all of his clothes off and beating people with his cock. But Bomb, jealous because he does not have one, <laughs> decided to throw it elsewhere. Uh, you're right on one part there, Jake. Uh, he has one. It just doesn't work. And it's very small. Nope. He has. He is smooth as a Ken doll down there. He told me privately that he. Oh. <laughs> I didn't know. I didn't know where it was going. It's the first time I couldn't come up with an end to a bit. Excellent quarterbacking. Fourth and eight. We managed to burn about a minute of the fourth quarter, so we can punt this ball back and let Purdue right back into this. I managed to speak to Bomb earlier before the game where he informed me that his uh, strategy going into this, how to best attack the 
Purdue defense was that his favorite flavor of Jello is purple. <laughs> All right, quarterback keeper getting absolutely fucking demolished is number seven, the used car salesman. Remember, October is Rocktober week. Rock Lobster week. Get yourself a new updated calendar with the brand new months approved by Congress, Rectober and Toyotathon. All right, looks like we're getting a sack there. I've got a sack that you can put in your mouth, says number 57, at to PC, the used car salesman. At PCU, we bring the sacks. Third and 14 inches. Wide open left out. Uh-huh. As per use. For PCU. And instead they give it to their fullback. Wow. On third and 16. Now, is this just terrible offense or good defense? It is terrible everything. These are this is the equivalent of two drunk men fighting in the dark. Here for the fair catch, Spaniel. Yo, Spaniel's my rock, dude. I love that dude. Speaking of rocks, there's 12 minutes and 45 seconds left on the cock. Calling inaudibly. The motion. The snap. <laughs> the bullshit. Oh, wide open. Wide. wide open! Thank you. <laughs> Past interference. Did uh, he catch it, though? He did catch it. Oh, come on. It could have been a touchdown. Mom decided not to throw it to the open receiver. Come on, wide out right. All right, throwing it up the seam. Decided to lob that one in there instead of a bullet pass to the wide open receiver. Some may say, what a dumbass. And that someone is me. Bomb's a dumbass. And I hate him. <laughs> Oh my god. Our receivers are really trying to make me hate them as much as I hate Bomb. But luckily for them, I don't have the capacity to hate that many people that much. That's true. Left, oh my god. The corner route was wide open. We decided to check it down to the perfectly covered uh, flat route. Brings up four to ten inches, which Bomb puts in his mouth. Currently have a different punter than we started the game with. Ooh, but I like this one. I All love right. this one. That is buried. I that love is this buried one. at the two. Player of the game, our fucking punter. I feel like all the kickers have had more beautiful plays than anyone else. Spaniel with his four or five touchdowns is definitely the offensive player. Uh, defensive player of the game is nobody because they were all garbage. Um, and even though we rushed seven on that one, couldn't get any pressure at all whatsoever. Uh, player of the game, punter, for consistently burying the Boilermakers deep so that our defense could look even more shit than they already do. Well, Punter Hills from uh, Canton, South Dakota, where uh, he started punting, and that's where he gained his tactics, and that's why he's where he is today. At PC? Wait, no, pretty. Which one was it? Our punter plays for PC. <laughs> and he's great, he's from Canton. South Dakota. Canton, Ohio, the home of the NFL Hall of Fame. Really? Yes. He was raised in a janitor's closet in the NFL Hall of Fame. Where he punted and punted and punted. His way to the top. Fourth down. Fourth and one. 
Let's see what the Boilermakers do here. It would make sense to go for it. They choose one. not to. They, I guess they see a 16-point deficit with uh, 10 minutes, 11 minutes left in the fourth quarter as enough. Spaniel actually taking the ball back, ball out, getting a decent return, bringing it up to the 32-yard line. Dude, I don't Some speak of the best. Spaniel, but I love this dude. That was pretty good. <laughs> Whew, this, that, okay, bomb. What the hell? Bomb taking a, a quarterback sweep, I guess. A uh, little option route. Could have pitched it back to the running back. Chose not to. Kept it. Trucked nothing. And then uh, slid down for a gain of eight. little delayed handoff action here. Second and two. They're running. Should They're go for, somehow we made it. Somehow we got the first down. That was quite the generous spot from the referees. Who are here for one goddamn specific reason. And that's to fuck us. Alright, little that, fullback dive. And that I formation, who would have thought we would run, right? Running a fullback dive out of I form is our is our shit. That's as Gwen Stefani said, that's uh -huh. my shit. Uh -huh. That's my shit. Uh -huh. Once again, throwing it into double coverage when there is single coverage all over the board, everywhere except there. Bomb and his no dick having bitch ass. <laughs> All right, let's get this delayed handoff for two yards and punt this ball right back. Fuck yeah! Jesus Christ! Fuck yeah! How did you know that? This game shaping up to be substantially longer than the last game. Oh, Jesus. I fucking hate my life. Oh, what? Oh, okay. Well, that's fucking ridiculous, but it worked out in our favor. What the uh, fuck? The PCU players should definitely not have been allowed to touch no. the ball. No. Luckily, the referees, who are here for one goddamn specific reason, and that's to fuck Purdue, I guess. Starting this drive at the 8, once again, player of the game, our punter. Like, that was such a legal move. Uh-huh. <laughs> he fair catched and everything. Rules don't matter. Where we're going, we don't need rules. Another Gwen Stefani quote. Uh-huh, that's my shit. B-A-N-A-N-A-S, your shit. shit is bananas. It, it, We're gonna it, get man. copyright strikes. That's not good. Okay. This shit is so breaded. B-R-E-A-D-E-D. -E -E <laughs> I can't get my dick up. I am PC use QB. Hell yeah. With the remix. Alright, the used car salesman takes Ooh. it for the first down. Ass as fire. long as they keep running the ball and draining the clock, just slowly bleeding this dying animal of a football game, I'm gonna continue to be happy. Let's see. Wide open wide receiver. Tackled inbound, so the clock keeps running, and I stay happy. It's a run, upright. Ooh. We had a five-bed box. No one could beat their blocks, even get an arm out to try and slow them down, or at least make them truck the air. <laughs> All right, they're split five wide. What the fuck was that? Dude, that's bullshit. That's such bullshit. What was bullshit? The wide out on, the, on their uh, right side? He was moving without, like, he was, it was an offside. I mean, the refs are here for one goddamn <laughs> specific reason. 
nuts to fuck us. Well, they're doing a great job there, Jake. All right. Come on. Interceptions are overrated. Let's just get this fucking punter back out here. I cannot wait to see how many fucking punts there were in this game. Um, Over under 30. That's where I'm putting it at. There has been a shitload. Don't fucking catch that. Are you fucking kidding me? Spaniel, instead of letting the ball go out of the end zone, decides to field fair, it on the one. Yeah, fucking fair catch on the one. Are you fucking kidding me? Giving up the safety will be PCU. No, un actually, the fullback manages to gain eight on first and ten from the one-inch line. Now we're gaining inches. I still believe in our ability to fuck this up and punt the ball back. Oh, okay. Bomb takes the ball, gets the first down. That's the one time that's okay. That's... Yeah, on second and two, I love that call. On third and ten, I fucking hate it. Let's give this ball to our fullback. What oh the God. fuck are you doing? I believe he got scared. He said, oh, too many people, and then he ran away. Our fullback, if you're just joining us, is a bitch. Little bitch. They're dropping 11 into coverage. Oh, let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, my fucking God. <laughs> We're going to put that on bomb for missing the wide open corner route. <sighs> Changing the play here, perhaps oh, to a run. Yeah, he's already offside our, our wide out. Who gives a shit? He's wide, he's wide, wide, he's wide, wide open. open, wide open. Threw it into double coverage instead of uh, a lob pass down the sideline to our wide open receiver. Is bomb. Bomb's a bitch. Make bomb. sure to check out the PCU t-shirt store to get your bomb as a bitch shirt. Oh, I like that. I like that a lot. Bottom bomb. Bottom bitch. Bottom, yeah, he is the boundum bitch. Boundum bitch. Ain't that a bomb, bitch? Ain't that a bitch? All right, here with the delayed handoff, number 44, going for about nine yards. Ooh, wow. they gave it to 46. And he got absolutely thrown. He got leveled, Jake. I can't wait to smoke a cigarette when this dumb bullshit's over. Oh, look at that. Look at that wide out. Look, look at his foot. He stepped back. Look at him. It's, it still would be a false start, Who right? Who gives a shit? There were receivers wide open. Both of them were. And John Elway's used car salesman can't complete the pass. He overthrew his career. Boy, and I thought Bomb was a bitch. Now, who am I kidding? They can both be off. Oh well, my god, get him. Luckily, we brought him down in bounds. We can keep the clock running. Continuing to bleed out the last of my will to live. All right, it looks like a fullback dive here. Should go for about nine yards. Oh, they... Oh! Whoa! Was that a halfback pat... It, yeah, it was, was a it was a terrible trick play, yeah. but it appeared that they were trying to hand a, it off to the running back and then throw. A flea flicker? No, it's a halfback pass. What's a flea flicker? A flea flicker is when you hand the ball off and then the running back turns around and throws it back to the quarterback, who then throws it. Oh, I got you. The used car salesman takes off on second and sixteen and slides after a gain of two. I think that was the wrong call. Well, I sure would have hated it, 
hated it if Bomb did it. Oh, if uh, if you look closely, you can see Bomb clapping on the sideline, letting uh, letting the opposing quarterback know he loves that idea. <laughs> However, unlike Bomb, he turned around and completed a pass that went for a first down on third and long. Something Bomb can only dream about doing. All right, there's the pressure, and there's the sack. Oh, oh from from Yutsi, number seventy-seven. Yutsi, my Bootsy. Little Yutsi Bert. All right, we've got a wide open receiver. We've got four DBs for two wide receivers and two Shit. DBs for three. So those are great numbers. We've got a perfectly balanced defense, and he can't complete a pass. Because he is thinking about all of the great financing rates you can get on new and used Hondas here at John Elway's Big Dumb Car Lot. John Elway's Big Dumb Car Lot. Alright, sending six on the rush. Nobody getting through. Tight end getting that first down. Ooh, Ooh. no, being tackled just short. Uh, if Purdue had any balls at all, they They'd would go be for going it. for it. But, in my heart, I know that they will be kicking this field goal. Oh, oh my goodness. My They've made a good decision. Our defense is fucking terrible, and it looks like they are perfectly set up to get a first down here. They come chose on, not on, to run the ball, on, come on, and yes. instead take a sack yes. on fourth and one, yes. turning the ball back over. Basically solidifying a PCU win at this point. Really, we just have to suffer through the next two and a half minutes of a delayed handoff to the 20, to number 26 that'll go for about three yards. Don't pass. They are draining clock here, yeah, which is wow. the best part of the AI. Oh, draining the clock so that they can pass the ball. Makes perfect <laughs> sense. Thank God it worked. Purdue calls their second timeout. They have one remaining in the half. Leaving uh, the same as if there was a two-minute warning, which we have decided, I, I guess, isn't it's real. Necessary. Why are you passing? Why is it working? <laughs> like, what is happening? Passing the ball was fucking bullshit all day for the PCU offense. And now, they're deciding to do it at the worst possible time. Bomb loves running the ball, and yet now, when it makes sense to, he chooses not to. Once again, reaffirming my beliefs that he is a saboteur sent to fuck me. Almost throws another interception. Ooh, but we get the pass interference. So, an automatic first down. If we ran the ball, we would fucking be able to just kill the clock at this point. It appears that we are going to run the ball to our fullback. Sweep it left, bro. Oh, no. Nope. Pass hell the is ball. Happening? Why can't. Why wouldn't we pass the fucking ball? I can't believe we got two comments. I can't believe that two people typing in Cyrillic. Can we fucking please run the goddamn ball, you dumb fuckers? Run the ball. Run the ball. Run it to the fullback. You know you fucking want to. Just run the fucking ball. Oh my god. You know what? It's a running play. I'm not going to be I'm not going to complain about whatever dumb bullshit that is, because we ran the ball. Purdue has no more timeouts. I'm sure we will punt the ball back to them, and they will run it inexplicably. Calling for the fair catch. It's almost two hours, dude. Yeah, it's garbage. It's fun. We have fun. 
here at PCU. When you're oh, here. look. Purdue will run the ball when it doesn't make any fucking sense to. But we can't. It's like the game's logic around, like, two-minute drills is, like, backwards. It's like the team with the lead feels like it needs to pass all the time, which doesn't make any fucking sense. And the team with that's behind, like, will, will run the ball. All right, the motioning receiver should be wide open. And he is. Doesn't throw it to him. Throws it to a different wide open receiver who stays in bounds. Nice. Which should be bringing this clock down to the end of the game. Why is it moving? Okay. And that's it, folks. Mercifully, this dumb bullshit is over. Maybe. Maybe. There oh we go. Oh my god. Okay. PCU House Cats for the win. Your... 32 for Purdue. 48 for the Cats. Alright, let's take a look at these stats. Uh, the passing yards for PCU 554 to Purdue's 562. Um, passing defense bananas. Uh, poor display. Uh, PCU manages to get it done a little bit better on the ground. 38 attempts for 107 yards. If you're keeping track at home, that is about two and a half yards per carry, which is trash. Uh, the Boilermakers, on the other hand, managed to average worse than that. Incredibly even stat lines when you're looking at it. Uh, 32, they, both teams ran about the same amount of plays. PCU yeah. ran 10 more plays and completed the same amount of passes. Oh man, they're trash. <laughs> Time of possession is almost completely equal. This game sucks. Let's go look at some statistics. Uh, let's see. Kicking. Uh, no, punting. That's what I want to see. Uh, all right. The PCU punter, who has only kicked in two games. Apparently, we had a different punter game one. That's strange. He has punted the ball 20 set, 26 fucking times. Which is bananas. And uh, it appears that the simulations do change things. Because when I am watching the games, the punts go up exponentially versus these are the teams that I have not watched play. And I've just let them simulate like normal. And they are having three or four punts. And as you can see from some of the team stats... Um, or let's, as a matter of fact, let's go to this and we can simulate through the rest of the games, uh, simulate week. We'll be simulating through these games and you'll see some of these scores, 62 points, 61 points, 67 points, much higher scoring games. Uh, when you let the computer take care of it, as opposed to watching the computer play. Uh, anyways, folks, this was trash. You're all trash. We're all trash. PCU for the win! Fuck yeah. So long, folks. Uh, maybe. How do you cancel broadcasts? Uh, go down. You guide. <laughs> No, no, uh... You're such a dickhead. No, broadcast settings, yep. There you go. Uh, stop oh. broadcasting.